Now, Erwin, what is a separate detection unit? A separate detection unit is something that isn't attached to the motor. It could be an encoder or a scale or any other device that isn't attached to the motor. Okay. Now, why would you want to use a separate detection unit? Accuracy. If a motor is using the, a built-in encoder, then what you're actually measuring is the true position of the motor itself. However, with a scale attached to the machine, you're measuring the true mechanical motion of the table as opposed to just the motor motion. Now, I got a pretty weird one for you. Often I hear customers saying that they, their axes are making growling and whooping sounds. What could cause this? What do these sounds sound like? One of them sounds like whoop, whoo, and the other one's more like grrr. The growling sound is most likely going to be a thrust bearing as opposed to an electrical problem. As it begins to wear, it will make a growling noise, especially prevalent when the axis is in rapid motion. The whooping noise that you're referring to indicates a defective ball screw. As a ball screw begins to wear, it will make the whooping sound. You'll notice this primarily in rapid motion. The same customer experiencing the growling is also experiencing accuracy problems. Can they be related? Yes. If the customer is hearing growling noises come out of his machine, there's a high probability that the thrust bearings are damaged. In this case, when the machine reverses direction, they will experience lost motion. This will only show up on a machine tool using a semi-closed loop system, meaning you're running strictly off of the motor encoder. This problem typically will not show up with a machine running scales. All right, John, I have a customer that reported noise in the spindle. They rebuilt their gearbox, but they're still getting the noise. Erwin, any ideas? Uh, yeah, usually there is a gear on the back of the motor and it has a Hall effect sensor that senses the speed and that is going bad and it'll sound like your motor is full of rocks. Wow, it's good to know. I have another customer that got a machine repaired and his axis won't move and there are no alarms. This could be caused by several problems. Possibility, the feed rate override switch could be turned to zero or the rapid override switch could be turned to zero. The most likely cause though, put the machine in jog mode, select your axis, and as you see, nothing is moving. There are no alarm messages displayed on the screen. The servo drives are showing that they are online by indicating a zero. The next likely possibility is an axis interlock. The axis interlock will show up as address G8, bit number zero. This bit must be a one, it must be high in order for normal machine operation to occur. Unless this bit is high, the axis will not move and it will not generate an alarm message. This bit is set high in the ladder logic by the machine tool builder. If the bit is low, the axis will not move and the machine does not have to generate an alarm message. It will show normal operation. Consult with the machine tool builder to find out the reason that G8 bit zero is low. That's great, John. Here's another possibility. If the machine is in automatic or memory mode and is executing a program and has come to a stop, the cycle start light is on, the program is no longer executing, it's come to a stop. You can access the CNC diagnostics page. The first line on the page will indicate why the machine has come to a stop. In this particular case, it shows that a motion command is currently being made. It will not be able to clear to a zero until the move has been completed. The next one down indicates that feed rate override is set to zero. The switch is now set to zero. As I turn that back up, my program is once again executing. Here's another possibility. You go to lunch, you come back to your machine tool, everything had been running fine, you place the machine in memory mode and you hit the cycle start button. The machine starts to run but then it just comes to a stop. No more motion, no alarms, everything looks fine. Where do you start looking for this problem? You push the system button and look at the CNC diagnostic screen. If there is a one in the right hand column, this tells you why the machine has not completed the move. In this particular case, the one indicates it's making a motion command. True, we gave it a move command. It's attempting to execute this move. The next one we come down here, look across, it says feed rate override at zero. The feed rate override switch has been set to zero. Turn it back up. Your program is now running back the way it should. 
not Erwin, I have a customer whose display isn't working, but his controls are still powering up. How could he troubleshoot this? If their machine is still operating normally, they most likely have a problem with their CRT or the CRT power supply. In either case, they will need to send the unit in for repair.